Welcome back to Fallout 2. I'm just here investigating the um, the military base. It looks to be abandoned, and uh, I found a book on the floor as well. Uh, Dean's Electronics. That should help with repair. Uh, there's a locker here. Is this going to be locked? No. Okay, I can use those definitely. Um, there's some uh, some wolves. Hopefully, they're not going to attack. Looks like there are, there is some equipment here left behind. What is this? A survey map. And uh, hollow disk number five. Uh, I guess I should take a look at that. Uh, let's take a look at the survey map. Uh, there seems to be a city just west of the military base. You log it on your pit point. Okay, that's San Francisco. I already know about that. Uh, let's use the Dean's Electronics. Uh, Increases the repair skill. Have I used this one? Does it disappear once you use it? Yeah, it uh, no, it doesn't. Um, let's use this one. Uh, the MB Hollow Disk Number Five. That should add some things to my pit boy. Let's have a look at uh, military base outside. Our team of scientists has finished testing the sample obtained from the base. It has been confirmed as 99% pure. You can expect the sample to arrive shortly. As expected, the worker population has mutated rapidly once exposed to the pure source. Heavy but acceptable losses are reported. I've ordered the evacuation of the base as soon as the last person is out. We'll blow the entrance to the base and seal the bastards in. Colonel Sanders. Sanders. Ugh, they've been sealed inside. Uh, they may... I assume there's some survivors left. We're going to go and have a look if I can find a way to get in. A lot of dogs here. Why oh, there's so many dogs? <laughs> uh, Dean's Electronics, and we've got a cattle prod. These wolves are all <laughs> running around howling. Explosive rockets. Oh, in the last game, in the first game, I did use heavy weapons. I used the rockets just because they were so effective. I've tried to avoid using them uh, in this game. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got um, a cart here. Are they chasing after me? Are they following me around? A couple of them are. Oh, I'm being attacked, am I? Alright, let's... Oh, out of ammo. Let's take out these, uh, these wolves. They shouldn't be too... Oh, let's go for the burst. They shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. may actually be better off using uh, this weapon to take them out. It's going to use less ammo. Uh, what's Marcus up to? Hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be... Uh, Shouldn't be too difficult taking them out. Just quite a long way away from the rest of them, though. <clears throat> uh, they shouldn't be able to do too... Where are, they, where are these wolves going? They shouldn't be able to do too much damage. Let's see if I can just get a shot off at this one. There we go. Um, Marcus doesn't even seem to be fighting them. He's just standing there doing nothing. Why don't you attack them, Marcus? I'm going to have to go and rescue him, I guess. Uh, let's move up a little bit first. <clears throat> okay, next turn I should be able to, to rescue Marcus here. He seems, seems to be stupefied. He doesn't know what's going on. Luckily, most of them aren't able to to do any damage. There we go. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, there we go. He's uh, finally woken up. Now oh, I used too many action points. All right, let's just get a little bit closer. Ah, oh, there's only three of them left now, but they do have a couple of attacks each. And we'll have to rest up before... Uh, trying to get into the base. Just make sure Marcus is healed up. to that one, he just critically missed <laughs> and fell down. <laughs> well, dogs do that sometimes. They get a little bit too excited. Okay, uh, I think there's just one more left now. Marcus, do you want to do something? How? I'm going to have to go for an aim shot just to make sure I'm hitting the right person. Yeah, that's, that's not a, a dog. Uh... There, there we go. All right, let's just go for the body. Okay, job done. Now we got uh, 500 experience points. Let's just continue having a look around here. Can I get into this office? Is there a uh, is there a door here? Is there a, is there another wolf somewhere? Oh, there's one over there. I don't think I can shoot through the, the gate. Okay, let's take out the last uh, last dog here. Hopefully this is the last one. Marcus, why are you standing right in the way? Okay, that should be uh, the end of combat now. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, there's more of them. How many of them are there? So many wolves. Did I check out this tent down here? I think I did, but I'll go in and have another look. Uh, Marcus should... Marcus should be able to finish them off. There we go. Uh, okay, let's have a look in this tent and uh, see if... Did I open this or not? I don't think so. Um, some energy cells. I'll take those. There's Dean's Electronics as well. And another... Another book for repairing things. Um, let's take a look at the skill here. Repair 75%. Slowly getting uh, getting there. I wonder if there's anything in these crates as well. No. Okay, there is a truck. I was just uh, trying to get into this um, little uh, workshop here uh, before I was attacked by all of those wolves. Um, it appears to be locked. Right, let's do the uh, the lock picking here. Uh, try it a few times. See if I can get inside. And 55 experience points. It's more than I usually get. Uh, anything? Anything? Right there. Some rope. Oh, there's some uh, dynamite. Hmm. Okay, I've got too much weight on me at the moment. Uh, that's because I'm carrying the... Now, the power armor. Uh, I wonder if I can give that to Marcus. Let's go and have a chat with what do you him. Want? Let's have a look and see how many health points he's got left after that little battle with the wolves. Um, he might be able to carry the uh, the power armor. Um, that was Sulik's power armor. There we go.
Uh, let's check out the last crate here. <clears throat> um, still don't see any way inside. This is blocked. A large formation of rocks. This was not a natural occurrence. The mining cart looks functional. You could probably push it. Um, okay. If I put some dynamite in there and push it towards the, the block, is that going... Oh, hang on. Is that going to work? Set the timer for uh, one minute. Uh, let's go and push this. The cart by itself isn't going to be enough to open the mine. Oh, we've got to get out of here, Marcus. Run. Run. <laughs> Marcus, run, please. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's, there's a stick on the ground. A metal pole. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't do any damage to me. Can't by itself... This is going to be enough to open the mine. Um, what if I stick some dynamite down there? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I put it there, did I? Let's go and pick it up. Oh my goodness, how do I... I guess I can just place it down here. Which one is it? Uh, this one? Oh, no! Did I drop it? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can I move the cart? Uh, the cart by itself isn't going to be enough to open the mine. Uh, I've got dynamite. Hmm. Did that work? The cart by itself isn't going to be enough. Uh, okay, I don't really know how this works. The dynamite... Oh, I can use the dynamite on the rocks. Cannot get there. Use the dynamite on the cart. Oh, there we go. I've stuck the dynamite to the end. Oh, that worked. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so that's how you do it. Okay. I've blown my way through. Uh, there may be mutants alive down there, so I better quickly save the game. Okay, let's go inside and uh, see what's here. Or see who's here. Uh, looks like somebody's been killed. Is that a robot? Oh, getting attacked by... By a rat? A mutated beast? Hopefully there's not uh, too many of them. You see a radio. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually uh, use the radio to contact someone. Uh, that does nothing. Okay, maybe uh, it's not actually something that can be used. There's lots of rats over here. Is that a, a robot or a... Person in power armor. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, there's the elevator over there. Everything's quite dark. Maybe I need to turn on the power. Is there a power? There's another section over here. It looks like I can't really get to it. Just trying to figure out where I need... Oh, can I get through there? Oh, there's a... There's a super mutant over there as well. Oh, this could be the uh, the power generator here. Let me, let me have a look at this. I will need to fight my way through... A bunch of rats, apparently. Did I miss? Alright, you take him out, uh, Marcus. I'm going to make my way to the... Uh, the generator. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm still dealing with rats.
Um, did I miss? That's crazy. Come on, Marcus, do something. Come punch them. Little beasties look like rats to me, and there's some of the uh, the bigger pig rats as well. Uh, they shouldn't be difficult to deal with. Now that I'm wearing this power armor as well. Uh, okay, I wish Marcus would help out in the battle a little bit. Uh, that's okay. I don't think this pig rat has spotted me yet, so uh, let's go and have a look at this. You think you might be able to repair this? Okay, so I'm going to use my uh, repair skill. Looks like a kind of a power generator here. You think you might be able to repair this? Almost had it. Okay, try again. You successfully repair the power generator and gain 1500 experience points. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go and talk to the, well, I may need to take out this mutant over here. Let's see what he's doing all by himself. Uh, now that we've unblocked the entrance, he is free to leave. If he wants to head out into the wastes. Tasty little ones. I think he's chasing, chasing the other uh, rats. Oh, you're a big mousey. Make good dinner for Grundle. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a mouse. Take this, buddy. There we go. Hit for 36. Hit for 37. I'm not sure how many health points they have, actually. Probably at least like 120 or something. They're usually pretty tough. There we go. Okay. Hit for 38. Yeah, so maybe about 120 health points. Um, let's get out of combat. I think these rats... Can I do anything with this? Uh, hay bed. Okay, that's just Grundle's... Grundle's little bed down here, so that's fine. Let's head over now to the elevator. Head down to some of the uh, the lower levels. See what else we have in this military base. See if there's any equipment we can find. I am looking for an FOB for the tanker in San Francisco. I think that's at Navarro. I was just taking a bit of a side trip here just to check out this military base. Um, I saw it on the map and thought, why not? Might as well go and explore it, but I don't think there's any quests to do here. Um, I need to take out these mutant beasts. Hopefully a single shot will do. Yes, it will. This computer equ equipment all looks destroyed. Yeah, it's all broken. Let's move up a few steps. Take out... Is the path blocked? 54%. No, it missed. Okay, taking them out pretty quickly here. Which is single shot. Yes, okay, I've come a long way since the beginning of the game, running around with a spear, missing two thirds of the time. Uh, any, anything, oop, anything in these crates? Just a quick look. Uh, some rockets. If I was using heavy weapons, that might be good. Uh, this machine has something to do with the robot service base. It does not look particularly interesting. Okay, quick save and let's head... Um, well, is this elevator even working? Ah, it is. Right, so I assume we're on level 1. We're going to go down to level 2, first of all. Uh, Marcus, don't wander it too far because I want to check out this place first. Enclave Patrol. Check out all the mutants. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. There could be some equipment here. 
Maybe I'll check out the room with one mutant, not the not the room with like a dozen. <laughs> Enclave patrol. There's a lot here. I don't think I want to take on all of those unless I have a good reason to. Uh, let's check check out the Enclave patrol. Can I get through this door? A plasma pistol and uh, another radio. I'm just going to leave the radios behind. I don't think I need them. Plasma pistol. I should see how much damage that does. I don't know if it has a burst attack either. Uh, 15 to 35 damage. Um, if it has a burst attack, that may actually be pretty good. Um, let's just go and... See if these mutants are friendly. I doubt they're friendly. Almost up to level 18. Uh, hello, fellas. Can I come in and have a look? No, uh, they're going to attack straight away. Oh, I've got, they've got guns. All right. <laughs> um, that does change things a little bit. Three shots. It's going to take three shots to kill a single one of them. Unless these ones are, are a bit tougher, and they might be. Oh no, they've heard the attack. They've heard. Oh my goodness, they've they're all they've all they've all aggroed. Hopefully, they don't all have weapons. Um, Marcus is going to get himself killed um, because he's standing right there in the doorway. Um, get out of there, Marcus. I'd rather stand there instead. Just to protect Marcus a little bit. Do they all have flamethrowers? Um, at least a few of them do. I think they might, they might all have flamethrowers. Well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Was Marcus dead? Was Marcus killed? Yeah, I didn't didn't see that. Marcus was killed. Alright, I think this is going to be a reload, reload. I think what I need to do is actually sneak past them all. There's... There's a lot of them coming. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reload. I'm going to try to sneak uh, past them. This is going to take... I don't know, about an hour, maybe half an hour to kill them all. <laughs> Let's try this again. There's nothing really I want, except maybe just to have a look in these... Oh, there's two of them there. Yeah. Let's not worry about this level. Going down to level 3. I could kill them all, I think, but... Marcus will die. And it's going to take a long time to do it. Um... Marcus? What do you want? Um... Just wait here, would you? I'll just stay here and... Otherwise, you're just going to get yourself killed. Hollow disk number three. Some cash. Grab all of that. Okay, let's check out uh, hollow disk number three. <clears throat> um, Pip Boy uh, displays downloading data from disk. Right, let's check that out in the Pip Boy. Uh, military base level 3. Sergeant Brax reporting at checkpoint 3. Everything is normal, just like yesterday and the day before that. I don't know why the brass has us guarding these wretched miners. They are so scrawny and weak they can barely lift a pickaxe. Anyway, the pencil necks passed by a while ago with some kind of sample. They seem pretty excited by it. Do you know, um, do you know if they found uh, what they were looking for? Maybe we can finally get out of this forsaken place. It gives me the creeps. Hold on a second. Another load is coming up the mineshaft. My god, what are they? They're swarming our position. Send help. Repeat. This is checkpoint three. Send help. And those scrawny miners turned into uh, giant mutants. Okay, the sneak skill is one. Oh, how do I stop running? Is it shift? Yeah, okay. 
What is that? Hmm. Oh, there's another elevator going down, I guess, to level four. Oh, there's one over... Oh, I can't get over there. It's a section I can't get to. This elevator may lead down to further... further levels. One, two, three, four. Five, six... Was it seven, eight? Eight super mutants I need to get through? I'm just going to very carefully sneak my way around here. See if I can find what find out what this is. Explosive rocket. Oh, I don't really want that. I'll pick it up anyway. Maybe I'll sell it to someone. Let's check out the locker. Uh, we've got a green memory module. Let's take that. And uh, what I might do is... um. Just save the game here. In the next episode, I will try to fight my way through these super mutants to the next elevator.